Hey guys, Jeff here. So as of today, the recording of this video, May 18th, 2020, Capture One has released a new free update to Capture One Pro 20. So let's dive in and take a look at what's new and different about this new version of Capture One. The first thing we want to look at is previously, uh, when we were working with layers, we would have to come over here and click on this and choose when we wanted to do cloning or healing, a new clone or new heal layer. But now we have dedicated tools right here on this little toolbar, the heal tool and the clone tool, so that when we're looking to remove a blemish, let's say if we wanted to get rid of this blemish right here, I could come to the heal tool and click it. And the minute I choose, I don't have to click a source point like with uh, what we might be used to with a clone stamp. Um, I can just paint over this right here and you'll see that it chooses my source point for me and it immediately creates a new heal layer, which allows me to sort of turn that off and on for a before and after, which is nice. Additionally, I can bring my cursor over to this little circle here and if I want a different source point, like if I feel like by my eye I want something a little bit different for its healing, I can bring it into another area altogether and experiment with blending different zones. Now it's looking pretty good right there. Um, I can use a smaller brush here and go after this bit right there and you'll see it creates a new little heal point and I can really just kind of toggle around and there are unlimited amounts of source points available to me on that layer, which is pretty nice. The program itself does a great job of being able to sort of automatically detect the best tones to source from, which is really cool. Additionally, if I wanted to get into any actual cloning, uh, same thing, I can come to the clone tool and it will create a new clone layer for me the moment I click. Let's say I wanted to like trim this hair right here. And I come in and I option click and Get rid of that right there, and you'll see that it creates a new clone layer for me. And now notice if I bounce back to the heel, it's going to automatically get me back to my heel layer the minute I click. So it recognizes that I'm moving from one tool to another, which is pretty cool. Now in the instance that I wanted to see, that I would want to see a before and after, this is a feature that I've been looking forward to in Capture One for a long time. I've always been a little bit jealous of Lightroom users who were able to, uh, with the touch of one keyboard shortcut, be able to see a before and after left and right. And same thing here. Now we have a dedicated tool up on our toolbar called Before and After. And what's cool about this tool is when I activate it, there's Before, there's After, and I can use the Y key to show me Before and After and Shift Y gives me this really cool slider which allows me to see before and after. I think that's pretty cool. I like the slider. Additionally, what's cool is if I'm working on more than one image and I want to see before and after of a set of them, as long as I have this toggled right here so that I can get into my grid view and I hit that Y key, I can come into this and it gives me the ability to show before and after of more than one image at the same time in the event that I want to see that or I have similars and I want to see my before and after. That's also pretty cool. In addition to that, what's cool is when the before and after is activated, I can be manipulating the image and the after side is going to show me in real time those changes. So in this instance, if I have a adjustment layer here called tone and I want to get in and let's say bring up the exposure a little bit and increase some contrast, and adjust some saturation, and maybe I want to bring the highlights down just a touch, and maybe I want to increase my black point, that sort of thing. And now it it's showing me these changes in real time. Here's the before, here's the after. You can see you can see it real clear down in here in the green. So as I'm down here and I make any kind of changes, you can see it adjusts the after portion for me in real time and I can swipe through and see my before and after. I can also hit Shift Y, and Shift Y gives me, me the ability then to just use the Y key to show before and after. Here's before, here's after, and then Shift Y brings me back to using the slider. So I can toggle between just being able to use the Y hot key to show before and after, 
or using Shift Y and it gets me into this little before and after slider. That's pretty cool, nice options. Capture One Pro version 20, this most recent version, is also made some changes to the way that you can import a Lightroom catalog in. And so let's hear from Forrest on how that's done. One of the features that I am super excited about with the newest version of Capture One Pro 20 is the ability to take a Lightroom catalog and import it into Capture One. Now, immediately you may be like, well, what's the use of that if you aren't switching over to Capture One from a previous Lightroom workflow? Well, there's a lot of them. Um, for me personally, I like a lot of the features in Capture One more than I like the features in Lightroom. Some of the editing features are nicer. Some of the, obviously the tethering features are nicer. So a lot of times I might wanna take a small selection of my images and bring them into the Capture One world. This now makes that way easier by preserving things like your your collections and your edits and things like that. So first step is obviously pick which catalog you want to import into Capture One. I just made a little temporary one on my desktop that we're gonna use today. You obviously could import your entire Lightroom catalog into Capture One if you wanted all of those images to be over there as well. All you gotta do to do it is go to File, Import Catalog and Lightroom Catalog. Side note, you obviously need to be updated to the latest version in order to see this button because it's a new feature. So we wanna make sure we do that. And then it gives you a little walkthrough. And I really recommend reading this. In fact, there's actually an online guide that will teach you more about this process. And I would highly recommend checking out that guide because it does have a lot of useful information, namely what will import and what won't. And they give you a little bit of information here, but you gotta remember these are two different programs from two different software developers. So not everything is gonna import. If you have like Lightroom local adjustments and things like that, not all of that stuff is gonna come in to capture one in a one-to-one -one relationship. So just be aware of that. From from there we're going to click select catalog and I just made a little catalog on my desktop called LR test. I'm just going to import that. So we'll hit open here and then it's going to tell you a little preview. It's going to say it's going to import 30 images. Obviously if that says 50,000 be advised that it might take a while and how many collections as well and you want to keep it on. So we're going to go ahead and import and you guys can see it's going really fast because I only have 30 pictures. Um, but now all of that is in there and I should be able to pop over and check out my user collections. And I think we can see, yes, my bangers collection is there. My edit examples collection is here, which is super sweet. And here are those pictures. So without any sort of issue, I've now taken some images from my Lightroom catalog and brought them into Capture One. Super awesome. Again, I think the usefulness of this is gonna be very niche -y. It's not gonna be an everything type feature, but boy, is it nice to have that ability. All right, back to Jeff. Jeff, go ahead and talk about what you're gonna talk about. Thanks, guys. So if you're a Capture One Pro user already, you can come here to your Edit menu or under the Capture One Pro on the Mac and come over here to your Update. And when you click Check for Updates, you'll see the most recent version will appear and you can download that version. If you're new to Capture One, be sure to click the link in the description down below and download Capture One for yourself. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. You can leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe up there and down there. Thanks to Canna for providing some of the gear to make these videos possible. Thanks for watching.